This video is brought to you in collaboration with the North American alumni. What are your fondest memories of FGC? So, fondest memories, uh, lots of them really. I loved um, the dining hall, the food. <laughs> I loved uh, Saturday mornings, yeah, when you have so much time, especially after the inspection, uh, the weekly inspection, you have so much time in your hands to, to do things with your friends, to hang out, to play games, and so on and so forth. Uh, but most importantly, uh, during the week, uh, lights out evenings, when uh, you get some of the expatriate teachers chasing us around in their Volkswagen Beetle and uh, ladder cars around the campus trying to make us uh, go to bed and uh, get some rest. Uh, that was fun time. I used to enjoy those books. Uh. Some of my fondest memories were, you know, the friendships that were made and, um, you know, which kind of transcended religion really because we were you know of different religious backgrounds christians muslims my fondest memories of fgc sokoto would be the girls day the social nights where we had dances miming when we had to watch movies in the theater as well as inter-house sports these are very fond memories i hold very close to my heart Back in those days, whenever I saw a student uh, wearing the same uniform as myself, uh, be it a senior or junior student, I um, immediately reminded that we are one and the same, irrespective of our individual differences. And um, each time I think of every Sokoto till date, um, that resonates. So it was a class where we had a rich blend of both those who had a lot and those who had nothing. Also a blend of different culture, um, a blend of people from different socioeconomic backgrounds. So, and that's that's one of the biggest fondest moment, um, memories I have of FGC Sokoto. Uh, talking about the times you remember the girls' day, you remember the prize giving day, you remember the assembly hall, um, which we had every Mondays and Fridays. Also, sometimes some of those uh, periods where somebody was called out and lashed in front of the assembly hall. Some of the beautiful teachers we had, uh, Mr. Anosike who taught us chemistry, Mr. Avwaja, Mrs. Avwaja, uh, Mr. Gudebo, the TD master. Um, we had Mr. Chukuma who taught us mathematics. I attended FGC from 1983 to 89. I was in Niger House. Um, one, one of the fondest memory of FGC for me is the girls' day. The girls' day was a day when the boys got to come to the girls' dormitory and the girls would entertain them. Later that day, we would have like a special meal in the dining hall. Um, we'll have a party later that day and it's just a fun day, a day that every girl looked forward to back then. What impact did FGC Sokoto have on your life or career? Um, I think if the school had an impact on both really. Um, gave me good grounding to study engineering in universities later on, like, like Sokoto, and also gave me the opportunity to form long-lasting friendships with people from across the country, really. Um, so it was truly a unity school. Some of my best friends today are from all parts of the country. Um, so, and um, yeah, I think that from that point of view, it did really meet its objective of uh, forming a, of being a unity school. You know, made me uh, kind of try my best to put my uh, best foot forward, you know, especially, you know, living here in the States. Um, sometimes folks, you know, can maybe get discouraged uh, easily, you know, when going for something. But, you know, I kind of always took that saying, you know, Nigeria no de carry last. I take that seriously to say that, oh no, you know, we're Nigerians, we'll persevere. We can do it. We will get in there. We'll figure it out. So I think from the onset, just the uh, discipline um, has made it uh, helpful to move forward in life and in um, my uh, career. Well, I was uh, quite an observer back in those days and I noticed that those who put in the hard work and with much diligence got rewarded and those who did not uh, suffered the dire consequences and so from a very early 
age in life, I realized that um, it was important to, to make the right choices and uh, that has uh, been a great part of my life till this day. FGC Sokoto being a unity school has impacted positively in my life. We had people from all walks of life, students from the north, the west, the east, the south, students from other African countries, from all over the world, Christians, Muslims, and we related easily and as one. We learned from each other. So we saw things from the eyes of others. And today, in my life and in the course of my duty, I'm able to relate with others easily because I see things through the eyes of others. And that is simply because of the foundation I got from FGC. A spiritual life that led on to my very strong faith in God and ultimately my becoming a, an Anglican priest today um, ties to it. Of course, uh, the foundation of my science, very strong science base, led to my ultimately becoming a medical doctor. So I, there's no way I can write my story and write my life or write about my, my history without FGC Sokoto significantly playing a role. That would be the friend that I made back when I was in FGC. Um, some of my closest friends today are friends that I met when I was 11 in MGC and they're still my friends 30 years later. So this was, um, this is one of the ways that, one of the things that I'm grateful for for attending FGC are the people that I met, that I met back then and some of these people have really you know, impacted my life over the years so I'm very grateful for that. Why is it still important for you to stay connected to FGC Sokoto and the alumni? You know, it's always a good uh, forum, almost a good opportunity to meet with people that you haven't seen in ages, especially when we have the annual reunion now. I encourage everyone to at least attend that when you can. It's always a good opportunity to, you know, have some fun, laugh with people that, uh, you know, both your seniors and your juniors. And um, kudos to the leadership, they've kept it going for a while now, so it's just good. I hope we we'll keep it up. Here are last year's executive committee. They did an awesome job with the reunion 2018. And this is the new executive committee incoming. As you can see, some of them are returning. And some of them are new. I thoroughly, as anyone who knows me probably can attest to, I enjoy attending our annual reunions. I um, strongly believe in networking and staying connected and, you know, every year, God willing, if I have the strength uh, and the ability, I do plan to always attend. The 6th FGC Sokoto North America Reunion Alumni Reunion was held in Maryland in 2018. It was so much fun and we hope to see you next year in Dallas for 2019. I think it's important um, to stay connected with your peers um, because of the culture of unity that was cultivated back in the, those days at FGC Sokoto. That way we can assist each other and create a better world at large. Because you would be building on existing relationships. There are people you weren't very close to in school, some were your seniors, some even graduated before you got into school and some came after you had left. But being a member of the alumni, you would all fraternize and associate with each other. There are captains of industries among you, senior military officers, top government functionaries, major contractors, everybody. It can also benefit our families. It can benefit our, um, our communities and societies and the places we, we serve. So as we, we move on upward in life and in, um, in our different cadres, our connections at the higher levels will ultimately yield some significant results in the society and that's how I see it. So I think that we should all stay connected and see how we can synergize and see how we can um, 
positively impact the world around us. Um, a lot of my friends from FGC, their family, I mean, all my friends from FGC, are, they're like family to me. So it's very important to stay connected with family. So I mean, I do not take it for granted, you know, that I have these people in my life. So and if I have a way to get to be connected to them, I, I would do it. Um, one of the ways is by attending the an annual North America um, event in the, the various cities in North America. And also, if I'm in a city or a country where I know that I have friends or other alumni, I would reach out to them while I'm in that country, we we'll socialize, share ideas, you know. So it's, it's very, very important to stay connected to my fellow FGC alumni. When you see the pictures of FGC Sokoto now, it's hard not to see the dilapidation and how worn it is. How can we help or give back now? Well, the best we can do is to continue to uh, encourage uh, academic excellence, you know, contribute and support to uh, students that are performing well, making sure that no student is uh, able to, is uh, not able because of some financial disadvantages and so on. I think those are the areas we can uh, put our um, focus on uh, in terms of infrastructure and so on. It's kind of difficult to do that from where we are, but you know we can have programs to encourage um, smart kids, you know, either in sciences, in literature, and so on and so forth. I think uh, it's always important to give back because you show the appreciation, you know, from you know the background that you had. We're giving back in uh, different ways. Our most recent one was paying for uh, the underprivileged uh, kids that couldn't afford the uh, exams, the YA, JAM, whatever else it's called now. Uh, we were able to sponsor about 10 kids to pay for that exam. So that's a really good feeling, knowing that we're making a difference in someone's lives. You know, we've benefited from attending the school and now we're giving back and uh, helping someone else to have that realization as well. That this year, 2018, we paid for 10 students, and I think uh, we can continue that, maybe increase it to 20 in 2019. I think this is a great way to touch some lives um, of students in LGC. We can also think of maybe paying for tuitions of students that are struggling, that are less privileged. And there's so many ways that we can think of um, to give back. It's, it's very necessary that we give back. Uh, firstly, join a local um, FGC Sokoto Association in your area where you are based. And then um, find out what the needs are. They are various needs, financial needs, donation needs. Uh, volunteering needs, uh, whichever, it is very necessary and uh, um, incumbent upon us to give back for the common good. God bless. Uh, first and foremost, I think that the students in the school would benefit from connections um, with alumni abroad and um, worldwide. So for example, if I have a student who, who is desiring to become a medical doctor, I'm sure a conversation with some of us who are already in the field could help in, in guiding them. So that way we are able to mentor the next generation of people from FGC Sokoto. Um, and of course, financially, from time to time, we are called upon to make some financial contribution to the school. The school is in dire need of water, we need boreholes, we need buses. The staff quarters have dilapidated. You could even pay the school fees of students who are not able to pay fees. There's so much to be done. So please, if you're watching this and you're not a member of any chapter of FGC, please try and join one. Either in Nigeria, we have the FGC Sokoto chapters in every state. We have the UK chapter, the North American chapter. Please be a part of it and give back to your school. And also, meet your old friends. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to share this video 
and we will see you at the next reunion.